Hi, my name is Grant, and thank you for watching the EZS2 series product video. Today I'll be discussing the general specifications of the EZS2 series, as well as the overall features. So the EZS2 series is a motorized linear actuator, it incorporates a ball screw and a linear guide. Both those guide and ball screw and ball nut are manufactured by THK, and we incorporate those in our design. So you can see that the uh, end of the actuator, we use a closed loop stepping motor, which is then attached to the ball screw. The ball screw interacts uh, the length of the guide. Now, as the ball screw goes through the ball nut, as that screw turns, it's going to uh, generate a linear motion all along the length of this guide. And you can actually attach the load onto this uh, platform, which is on the guide, in the form of this output table shown here. So again, we do use a ball screw and ball nut. We have an effective stroke range of 50 to 850 millimeters, depending on the frame size. We can achieve a maximum speed of 800 millimeters per second. Um, it does have a maximum transportable mass capability of up to 60 kilograms horizontal and 30 kilograms vertical. It has repetitive positioning accuracy of plus or minus 0.02 millimeters. Again, it does utilize our closed loop alpha step technology motor. Here's a chart of the overall performance uh, specifications depending on the frame size actuator you've chosen. We can see that the EZS3 has the lowest amount of transportable mass capability. And the EZS6 will have the highest amount. Now also, depending upon the input voltage, the speeds vary. The AC input voltage will actually have the highest speed capability. And the next factor will depend on the pitch of the screw. The 12 millimeter pitch will be capable of moving faster, while the 6 millimeter pitch will be capable of carrying more mass. Now the EZS2 series is capable of, again, of quick positioning. Um, you'll note on the chart that depending on how much mass you're carrying, um, we can easily determine how fast a move is possible to be moved. For example, if we're looking at 7.5 kilograms, um, we can see with this specific actuator, um, we can move about 0.19 seconds. And I'd also like to demonstrate this to you with our demo unit that I have with us today. Now this is an easy uh, S4 type slide with a 300 millimeter stroke. And we can see that we have the uh, common controller slash driver located over here, as well as a teaching pendant over here. We also have an optional battery, which makes this system an absolute system. And then we have a control box just to simulate some general I.O. switching from a PLC or whatever you would use to control the unit. Now located here, you can actually see we have a ruler that goes from 0 to 300 millimeters. I'd like to demonstrate some motion that will be moving in about uh, increments of 5 to 10 millimeters. As the, the table moves back and forth, we have some kind of motions which are actually linked together, so it doesn't really stop very, uh, very much. And it ranges from anywhere from very fast motion to very slow motion. 
I'm going to manually uh, move this table forward using the Easy E2 software. Right now I have the minimum move distance set for half a millimeter. So every time I click on the mouse, it's going to index forward at one half millimeter. So now I'm at the five millimeter position. Now I'm going to select a profile to manually move forward to the 10 millimeter position. Now I'm going to move to the 50 millimeter position. So again, we have a repeatability of plus or minus 0.02 millimeters. So practically, you can move this uh, unit in, in increments of 0.01 millimeter as the basic resolution. Now I'm going to perform a sensorless return to home. Now, for more information on the Easy ED2 software or the Common Controller, feel free to browse our Common Controller video. So again, the unit is capable of not only doing very precise, slow positioning, but also a generally quick positioning as well. Another feature of the EZS2 series is its uh, space-saving design. As you can see, um, as the load is placed upon the table, even as it approaches the end of the uh, actuator where the motor is mounted, it, the load should not interfere with that and, and can use, utilize the full stroke capability of each actuator. And a quick rule of thumb, in order to determine the total length of the actuator, you would simply take the stroke and add a specified amount to figure out the total length of the slide, depending on the frame size. Now we do offer dual axis mounting brackets for the EZ uh, S series. Now we offer uh, both X, Y, or XZ brackets, depending on your needs. And we offer those in a variation from the EZ S6 and EZ S4, EZ S4 to EZ S3, and EZS6 to EZS3 combinations. And now we both have left hand and right hand versions available. So the part number breakdown for the EZS2 series, again we have three different frame sizes to choose from. The 3, which is a 54 millimeter width, the 4, which is a 74 millimeter width and a height of 50 millimeters, and the 6, which is a 74 millimeter width and a height of 66.5 millimeters. Now we have both a 12 millimeter pitch and a 6 millimeter pitch option, and we have an effective stroke range, depending on the frame size, of up to 850 millimeters. And we increment, or we have uh, stroke ranges in increments of 50, go starting from 50 millimeters all the way up to 850. Now we do have magnetic brake options available for all packages, and that is uh, utilized to hold the load in place once power is removed from the system. Now we have available voltage of 24 volt DC and single phase 115 and 222 30 single phase. Again, the performance of the actuator varies depending on the input voltage. There's two different system configurations. Um, one would be the controller mode, which utilizes the common controller, and you can set up and program those utilizing either the teaching pendant or the Easy ED2 software. For more information on the Common Controller, please watch our Common Controller video. The second configuration would be uh, set up in driver mode. 
you would simply send a step and direction signal from a motion controller or a PLC, and then that would interpret that signal to generate linear motion based upon the resolution. Now we offer uh, motor extension cables, which are necessary, and we have many different links for di uh, many different options. If you do have any questions, feel free to contact us at 1-800-468-3982 or email us at techsupport at My name is Grant and thank you for watching.